Girls. This is the film adaptation of the Broadway adaptation of the film adaptation of a book. And for all the adapting that went on here, I don't feel like they did the right adaptations to bring it into the 2020s in this particular format. I could respect that they felt they had a new twist on it by adapting the musical into a film. That is something new and different, but the execution itself simply did not work for me. And the, the big problem in my mind is that essentially they're working off the same structure, the same script with the same beats, a lot of the same quotes, a lot of the same jokes, and it's structured the same way. Musicals, the advantage of a musical is there's unique ways in which through song, you reveal what characters are thinking, what they desire, what holds them back, their dynamics with other people. And if you just take a script for a movie that doesn't need that, it worked on its own. We understood the characters on their own and you don't adapt it to the new format. It just feels like we're mashing songs into a film that doesn't need it. And there's points in time in this version where the songs distract from things that are more important. In particular, the big dramatic event that happens after the assembly, if you haven't seen the movie, I don't want to spoil it for you. They do a musical number that transitions from the assembly to the shocking event. But the most important character, the most important dynamics in that moment, it's not the musical number. The musical number doesn't serve this hugely important conflict between two characters and shocking thing that happens. And so it almost distracts from what actually matters. Other points in time, because you're just throwing in a song somewhere, it slows down the progression of the plot of the film in a number of ways. So that, it just didn't work for me with the way that they did this. Along those exact same lines, it doesn't feel like they brought it into the 2020s where when you have something like Mean Girls that's so intended to comment on high school politics, the ways that people are, the way that girls mistreat each other, gossip about each other, and you bring it into a new decade, there's so many different dynamics at play with teenagers now that weren't there 20 years ago. And given that Tina Fey, is credited for writing this script, she's credited for writing the original script, and she graduated from high school in the 80s. And you just think, did they, I think they probably needed some fresh blood to come in and adjust this more, to bring it in, adapt it into the 2020s, adapt it to being a musical, and because they didn't do that, because it is isn't hitting so many of the same notes, because they do keep saying the same lines. Get in, loser. Stop trying to make fetch happen. Like all of that stuff, you just make immediate comparisons. And maybe this set of actresses will go on to be the next list of A-listers, but at face value, the side character from Spider-Man No Way Home or the Spider-Man trilogy is not nearly as famous as Lindsay Lohan was 20 years ago. She was like a massive childhood star, teenage heartthrob or whatever. And then she does Mean Girls. The eighth build person in the Spider-Man films is not that. And then with time, several of our other Mean Girls have gone on to be gigantic actresses. Of course, Rachel McAdams. And so you just feel like you're seeing kind of the poor man's version of, or discount version of this iconic high school film. So, I, I mean, it's watchable enough but I don't think it was very good. Hey everybody, this week I'm headed to Florida for Megacon. I won't be playing with fire at Megacon. February 1st through the 4th in Orlando, Florida, Megacon. Six panels, live video recordings at Megacon. Dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. Megacon, meet me and my YouTube friends at Megacon. <laughs> Megacon, if you exist, you wanna be at Megacon. Check out the description to learn more about Megacon.